Here's another unboxing. It's the Asus Q550LF-BBI7T07. Let's get unboxing. So first things first, you gotta get this guy open. Here's the laptop itself. Put this to the side for now. Let's see what else we got in the box. Here's some. Uh, Paperwork, battery notice, here's a cleaning cloth, quick start guide, and a warranty card. Here is the extender for the uh, charger. Nothing else in there. Here's the charger itself. Now the extender does have to be plugged in here. It's not like uh, the MacBook where there's a little uh, flip out here where you just plug it into the wall. Here is the subwoofer that comes with it. It does have Sonic Master Audio built into the laptop, and this should uh, add some extra bass. By the way, this subwoofer doesn't require any uh, batteries. It just plugs right in. You just gotta pop this cap off the bottom, and you'll find the cord in here. And you just gotta pop it back in. And there you go. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else in the box. So, let's get to the laptop. So here's the laptop itself. It has a nice brushed aluminum uh, body to it. The battery is built in. And let's take a look at the ports. So we're going to take a quick look at the ports. Here's the left side of the laptop. There's a DC in. This is where the subwoofer connects to. Ethernet port. HDMI. Micro display port. USB 3.0 super speed. There's another super speed. And the headphones and microphone. Along the front of the laptop there are the LED indicators for battery for Wi-Fi connection and so on and underneath here there is the speaker grill right over there along the right side we have the SD card slot another USB 3.0 super speed and the optical drive or DVD drive and over at the, on the far right, we have the Kensington lock. All right, let's get this guy open. It is a touch screen, a 15.6 inch. 
and uh, it's a backlit keyboard. It's very nice. Nice multi gesture touchpad here. Hey guys, this is what it looks like. Here's a close up of the keyboard. So the power button's here, but if you push over here, this comes up, the Asus console, and you have quite a few different uh, features here to show your memory, the Asus cloud, touchpad, gestures, and whatnot. So for example, if you click that, so I thought that was pretty cool. And by the way, this Asus logo does light up. Uh, back here similar to the MacBooks so that's a really nice feature there I think that looks pretty sweet this has a 15.6 inch touchscreen it's 1920 by 1080 so full HD it has an Intel 4th generation Core i7 8 gigabytes of RAM DDR3 and it's expandable to 16 gigabytes there's a terabyte inside, 5400 RPM, NVIDIA GT745M graphics, 2 gigabytes of dedicated graphics card that's great for web designers and gamers. It has a Bluetooth, Sonic Master Audio, voice recognition capability, and a 1 megapixel camera. So the laptop comes with a 1 year limited warranty for parts and labor. It's 1.1 inches thick and six pounds so not on the light side but it's a true powerhouse so I've been using this laptop for about a week now and uh, some of my first impressions are uh, both good and bad so let's start with the good the resolution on this thing is great um, I love the full HD it's uh, great especially uh, for me, I'm a web designer, so it's, it's really essential. It's a powerhouse, as I mentioned before. It has a, you know, a great speed. It launches programs like uh, Photoshop, Dreamweaver, uh, that use up a good amount of RAM very quickly since it has a dedicated graphics card. Um, and uh, the touchscreen works great. The battery life is pretty great. I haven't had a die on me. And... Um, now let's uh, move on to the bad. So some of the bad things I noticed about it. Um, I've had uh, the Wi-Fi turn off on me and I've only had it a few days. Uh, and to solve this problem I just installed another driver. I'm going to have that in the description. And uh, it works fine now. And the other issue I had was with the audio, the Realtek audio that it comes with, that the uh, subwoofer um, basically is able to play from, um, is not too good. I've had it cut in and out constantly. Now since I had the audio issue, I ended up swapping laptops and getting one the same exact uh, brand and everything. And I had the same issues right out of the box. Um, so... Hopefully Asus will uh, talk to Realtek and get that fixed in a driver update. I wish uh, the webcam was a higher resolution. I wish it was at least uh, able to stream 720p on Skype conference calls or Yahoo calls, whatever it may be. But uh, at 1 megapixels for a 999 price point, I don't think that's uh, really fair. Now the final issue that I've had with it, uh, I installed some updates a few days ago and it uh, it just froze on an update for about an hour and I thought that was pretty ridiculous so I got in touch with Asus, that wasn't normal and uh, if you guys are having that issue I'm going to put uh, directions in the description so you know how to get past that if uh, if you get to that where your uh, computer's frozen on an update, you can bypass that. And uh, I ended up getting past that just fine. And 
reinstalling the updates and it worked just fine. It might have been just a glitch. So who knows. The laptop is a great laptop. It's very solid built. It has a nice feel to it. The keys are nice. The trackpad is nice. Uh, although it does lag initially when you first start it up or uh, awake it from sleep. But other than that, it's a great laptop. Thanks for watching. Give it a like. If you like this video, subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video.